I'm just hanging out partying. Oh, Actually, man. I'm on a road trip with Bobo. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. We are headed to Arkansas. Arkansas. Somewhere, not Bentonville. We're going, yeah, we're going, we're going to Bentonville. And then what's the place nearby? Coyote something speed trap or the rail yard. The rail yard. Not even close to the right name. Uh, to the rail yard. Way off. But it's like a 12 hour drive and we are on the road going and I'm driving and I'm going to sound that boring because I've done a lot of road I trips. Like, I check in on you every once in a while just to see how you're doing and I'm like, you know, editing, editing. I have no idea what's going on here. I look at you and you're like watching YouTube videos. So we're probably going to die. You think I'm watching You think I'm watching YouTube <laughs> videos while we drive? Yes, I'm sorry. Trail bangers. I would never watch YouTube videos and drive my truck down the highway at 75 miles an hour. We're going to go out there and the goal is to hit every single feature. Every single feature Bobo should hit. This is about progression and doing things outside of your wheelhouse so they are become in your wheelhouse. Your face is yeah, wheelhouse of fun. Woo! No bueno. I get smacked with pillows <laughs> first thing in the morning for no reason. Because nobody needs to get up. Nobody wants to get up with an alarm for no reason. Here we are. We just showed up. We got geared up. It's me and Bobo. Just got to the hub in Bentonville. Pulling technically, in with... technically, is this the hub? Because the hub is like that center part at Kohler that we're this all trying hub. to go to. So this so... is like the hub trailhead though. Trail Trump it's head. Awesome. Whatever, he's a buzz kill Bob. We're at the trails, about to go ride some stuff. Uh, no way and way I'm complaining. Let's send it. Look at this thing. I'm trying to make it, but I'm just not doing so high. Hey, you feeling strong? I think I'm feeling okay. I mean, uh, you think the road gap's gonna happen? I mean, I think you should also join in the road gap. There's no reason for both of us to go to the hospital. So this is the top of the situation. Oh, there he's back. Uh, so here's your run up <laughs> for this trail. Then you got a double run up over here. This one's got the rock slab. You don't really notice this thing, really. You just kind of plop down it. Then up above, we'll skip here, skip there. But super stoked all around. Boom. I mean, that's full polar. Um, put it in a big gear, don't use the brakes, and everything else will probably be fine. I don't believe you can get off of this term. Rock solid and rock soft sounds like a description of our bonus. I don't know what this is like. I haven't even looked at it. Well, yeah, I mean, I saw a video one time. This would be a great enduro course. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. gotta get back to speed for that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a rock garden, bro. Go through the middle. So these trails are pretty legit. This is shockingly nice riding. I mean, oh. Oh, I've been through a lot of rock gardens, but not being in an actual bike park, these are amazing. Wow. Is... Oh, look at that. Look at that roll you're supposed to do, though. Yeah, that was the line. Woo! Keep your momentum. Keep your momentum. Holy shit, man. This is some freaking nice trail. We're gonna go ahead and send this drop here, the entrance, and then we're headed to the road gap because we all know we want to see me do the road gap. All right, road camera, let's go in. Tire pressure, it's 35. Oh, it's smooth. That is smooth. Woo! Woo! Bike setup is wide open with 250 pounds of PSI in the rear shock and 110 in the front. Oh, I'm coming up short! Yeah. I don't know how you have the speed to do it though. Yeah. Way low in the speed category. Oh, yeah. Dude, I cleared the out of the first uh, front, couple. Well, yeah. Oh, look, look at this gap. Let's roll down a little further. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you got that all day. No questions asked. Okay, so he's on the big one though. Let's go look at that one. Oh, is this the one that switched back and forth the whole time? Oh shit. Is this the biggest one? Before we go to the top, I think since we're this close, I think we should go, you should go ahead and knock this one out. Okay. Let's do that. That's totally doable. We gotta warm up. So this is Bobo's first time hitting something this big, like a fin off into the berm. This is big for him. Woo. Oh shit. Yeah! Look at that tree's down. Shit. But you know what? This one just, sometimes I look at something and I think I can't. And I wonder up in the middle of a couple of mountains, it looks like you're wide open. Yeah. And, you're kind of closed. and it's kind of like going down a little yeah. bit. It's not quite like this. You can make big shots. You can make big All right, so here we go. This is the biggest drop I've ever done. Go. Ready? Come on. Come on. Come on, Bobo. Grab the gear. Get up high. Carry a little momentum. You got it all the way. Just float. Just float. I'm not going. I'm not going. You got it, man. Good friends, good assholes surrounding you. Bro, you got this. That last one you just did was huge. This is no different. It's less effort. You just fall into it. Let's not say fall. Don't describe it as falling. You, <laughs> you, you fly off and then right in the landing. <laughs> right. All right. Cool. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> like when you go off and just like center yourself on the bike and you're, you're just like literally. You ready? All right. Go, man. Let's go, boom. Pick it up. Pick it up. More speed. More speed. More speed. Just float it off the edge. You got it. Who's the next up? Who's the next up? I'm shooting for the next up. Right, you ready? You're coming right behind him. Go right behind you. Go, Ryan. Pick up speed. Go. Oh, boy, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Nice job, man. Oh, my God. Let's do dude, it dude, how do you feel about the biggest drop you've done? Let's do it again. I think you just one up Nate and George. Oh, man. All right. This is, uh, this is one of the greatest moments of my mountain bike life. I just want to say thank you for being a dick about it. Thanks for pushing me there. So you're saying, what was that? Hold on, hold on. I want to see it at the same time. What was that? Thank you for being a dick. Okay, so and what, and what, me, and what making was, me do it. And what were the key points that really made you do it or what you think you should tell other people about doing? Go Drop fast, it. don't look at it, and mind your balls. Oh, I almost lost my, oh, touching my balls. So yeah, guys, it's all about the progression, pushing and like, once you do it in your boy, you know, don't push your friend into doing something you can't do, but. Dude, so look, how big was that jump? Now Bo was not looking. That jump is huge. It is huge. Bobo finally found his balls. He did. He you know what? He's had to get more mileage away from his wife. You know what I mean? And he got his balls back. I can't believe I did that either. I mean, okay, so look. The <laughs> idea is that, look, you're gonna hit this with no brakes. Don't hit the brakes. Line up here. You're gonna hit that lip. You gotta go as fast as you can to make that double, or you're not gonna make it. So you need uh, to go as much speed as you can. Let's I, go. I'm gonna land. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm telling you, you just gotta hold the speed until the next jump. This is by far the biggest jump I've ever done, but I'm not gonna let anybody know how scared I really am right now. Today, scariest thing ever. What we're about and to do. Now so. we're going to step up the madness and do something that is even scarier, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So do you need to run second? You need to run third? What are you gonna do? Third, bro. You're gonna go though. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna go for real. Totally. I'm going. I'm gonna send it. How are you feeling? You can go first. Yeah, you gonna stay tight? Be opposite. You, you gonna stay tight, Bobo? You gotta I roll the speed? Butt. Sure. One thing I've started doing is removing my fingers from the brakes, getting all four fingers on the handlebars when I do big jumps. I can say is, I think I'm gonna hit it faster and bigger because I'm gonna hit the step up, there's a step up behind it. Oh, 
Oh, big tree. Okay, okay. There's definitely a big tree on the bottom of this one. Yeah, it's way bigger than I thought it was. Hey guys, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. Stay tuned next week for day two of Bentonville, and don't forget, pedal a little harder, don't use the brakes, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Dude, Dude. that was so epic, I'm well, so proud of you, man. You. Thank you, man, thank you, you. That was huge, it really and, was. And, and thanks for pushing me at that moment because I really did have the momentum to do it, Yeah. but something got in my head, real dark thoughts. Bro, you, you gotta get over that. I think you just gotta come to, to do it and commit. You look at it a bunch of times, you're gonna psych yourself out, so. I'm not going to try to get you to do anything you're not going to do or can't do yeah, physically. I could you know? totally have done that. Yeah, so I, like, I, agree. I can't wait till the next couple of days when you do hit it and you can say, hey, Kevin, here's my dick. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, your dick's big. Your dick, you got a big dick.